Alright you dancing bastards, here is my OP split stuff build for Way of the Demon. After many tests on and off the stream, I think I finally found the perfect setup that can really lead you to success against almost every opponent. I'm saying almost because in my opinion Team Ninja fucked up even more with Way of the Demon mode as they did not fix anything, they just cranked everything to above maximum and now we have to deal with it. But that is topic for another video. I have remodeled my split staff to scale A- minus from Courage and Magic. Magic is your primary stat and it should go up to 99. Constitution, Heart and Courage are all equally important. I still have 100 levels to level up, so what I will do from this point onward is put Courage and Constitution to maximum and also get if I can attack bonus Constitution for the weapon. Why? Because high health pull is good for way of the demons since enemies do a stupid amount of damage. Heart should be at 40, something like that at least, or maybe even 50. I leave that to you. Stamina 36 so that we can wear alternative secondary set that we use when we are in trouble and need more defensive option instead of offensive option. With stamina 36 we get encumbrance at 70%. Strength and skill are what they are because of set requirements. Secondary weapon is Gozutenos X because of the rage duration increase for wearing only one piece. Try to also get battle focus duration special effect. We're gonna use both of those. There are a couple of split stuff you can use, as long as they are part of Inari's Grace set. I have used here Yonin split stuff because of melee key damage increase. Some humans are a problem for this build and that is why I'm trying to stack key damage. Try to also get active skill key consumption reduction, life drain through melee attack, break and for the damage special effect go for either active skill damage, attack bonus constitution or elemental damage. Some of these are good choices. Some other split stuff that are good for this build are Zen split stuff because of the imbue purity effect. You can combine that with other elemental talismans to create confusion on an enemy. Elite warrior split stuff is also very good because of the active skill damage. Martial artist split stuff as well because of the active skill key consumption. As long as it's part of Inari's Grace you are fine. What is great about Inari's Grace is the elemental weapon damage buff and also damage taken reduction. When weapon is imbued by an element, not only will that elemental damage go up by 10%, but also physical damage of that weapon goes up by 10% as well. I don't know if this is a bug or something, but it definitely works and that is why elemental weapon damage is one of the strongest weapon damage stats right now. At least one of the ranged weapons should be part of Inari's Grace set. Also try to get damage bonus agility on one of them. If you have cannon that is part of Inari's Grace, try to get fire damage special effect as well. Secondary set that I'm using is Red Demon set. Why? Well, it's obvious why. Active skill key consumption reduction. Melee damage versus scorched enemy increase by almost 16% is also very nice against enemies that can be set on fire. I believe this fits perfectly with the elemental damage build of Split Stuff. Alternative secondary set is Yoshi's Birthright. This is the defensive set I was talking about earlier, that's why we need stamina at above 30. 
how much exactly stamina we need depends on the Inari's Grace set pieces and what weight they are. Alternative to Inari's Grace set is Benzaiten's Grace because of the versatility bonus. Versatility is one of the most powerful attack bonuses that also stacks with other attack bonuses. However, it is best used with weapons that can switch active skills quickly. This type of build is not very good for versatility, but if some encounters last longer, versatility will play a huge factor in such fights. Try to get elemental weapon damage on all armor pieces. You don't need to inherit them, they can be rolled in a normal way. If you can't get elemental weapon damage, then go for active skill damage. Other special effects that you should look out for are key increases, elemental damage taken reduction, untouched Omnio magic, life recovery through Amrita absorption, attack, rage or battle focus duration increase on gloves, and so on. Special effects you should look out for on your accessories are poison accumulation, melee damage versus poisoned enemy, elemental damage taken reduction, elemental damage increase, and something along those lines. Scroll that I have here is Scroll of the Demon that increases melee key damage. As I said before, I like to do a lot of key damage, so that is why I'm choosing this one. You can also go for something like increased elemental damage again, or active skill damage increase, depending on what kind of scroll you have. Magic and Ninjutsu needed for this build are Weakness Talisman, Poison Shurken or Toxic Ground Fire, depending on which one you prefer, a Sloth. Slot is extremely good on Way of the Demon, as I suggest that every build have couple of them ready. Then we have typical stuff like Extraction, Protection, Quick Change and Barrier, with added Elemental Talismans. Guardian Spirit that I'm using is Atlas Bear. Damage bonus low key stacks with every other damage bonus and that is why it is such a good choice, especially as on top of that we get also 5 increase in melee damage and faster winded recovery that we don't have to get then on any kind of armor piece. Faster winded recovery helps when we get staggered when out of key, which we will be a lot, as with this build you're gonna run out of key a lot. Soul cores that I want here are Yatsu no Kami because of melee damage increase versus poisoned enemy. Rokuro Kubi fits nicely in here because of the increased yokai ability damage versus poisoned enemy and anima bonus on scorched enemy is quite good since we prefer fire damage, if possible. Humpty Dumpty is one of the best scores at the moment for any kind of build, not because of these bonuses, which are decent enough but because of the effect that you get upon using this yokai ability. Upon using this yokai ability you get a tech buff that stacks with every other attack buff but I believe it also reduces your movement speed. It's a trade-off we are willing to make. Secondary Guardian Spirit I have chosen is Inasau because of the damage taken in mid attack reduction. Well, it seems like Takenaka is now the best clan. This is the same one I've used before DLC on many of my builds and suggested it there. Since Honda has been nerfed, this has now become probably the best clan that you can use for any kind of skill damage builds. Don't forget to also put some kind of boosts on all of these active skills. Active skills that we're gonna use are Dragon Dance, Twin Phoenix and Serpent Sweep. So definitely put attack bonus courage, magic and constitution if you can. I've also went with masterful slice on dragon dance but this is kinda a trade off because key consumption rate goes through the roof with it. As for the mystic card, go for whatever one you want. I didn't see any benefits for this type of build that I'm running but maybe there are some and I've missed it. Main thing here is to go for Dragon's Dance and Dragon Dance 2, which gives you another attack buff that stacks with all other attack buffs. Upgrade also elemental damage of split staff attacks. I don't need to tell you anymore that you gotta go for these blue upgrades that increase key recovery, damage, whatever, when you are at 30% uh, health or less. Twin Phoenix upgrades are also nice to have if you want them, if not, there are alternatives. Don't forget to also get Serpent Sweep as it is really useful skill. Alright, so how to play this? First of all, you need to know which is the elemental weakness of the enemy that you are facing. 
That is the talisman we are gonna apply. We start off by putting typical stuff, protection, extraction, quick change, barrier, battle focus and rage buffs from X, then switch to split stuff and apply any kind of element. Now we have to put weakness on an enemy, sloth and poison them in any way, shape or form. After that try to find proper timing to start the dragon's dance. You can't really rush in whenever because you're gonna get staggered and it's gonna be problematic then to initiate it again. So be patient, look for an opening and then start with dragon's dance. Don't forget that when you deplete your key with dragon's dance you can increase your attack power briefly by pressing square button. This attack buff stacks with damage bonus low key from Atlas Bear and Rage buff from X. Split stuff is fantastic for applying any kind of elemental effect. And that is why you can also try put confusion status on an enemy by applying two different elemental attacks. Honestly it's kinda pain in the arse to apply that with all these things already but you can go for it if you want. I leave that to you. I did not find need for it but confusion is quite a powerful effect so why not go for it if you are able to. Main thing when Dragon's Dance is to deplete key while using it to get that attack buff. When we get that short lasting attack buff we can also use other attacks that are against certain boss types and enemies very good like Serpent Sweep. Then get back to Dragon's Dance when you see an opening and apply the buff again. Every time you can also try to use Humpty Dumpty Yoka ability to get that another increased attack buff. Anyway, that's all for this build. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and see you soon.